Just before lockdown, well, as it was about to hit, I was doing a play with Amelia Clark. We were at the Playhouse doing The Seagull with Jamie Lloyd's company. Job of a lifetime, mm. really. We did five previews and then we all went into lockdown like everybody did. We thought we were going to go back two Three weeks, weeks later. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Left all our stuff in the dressing room. Oh. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, what unfolded is history. And basically, a friend of mine, Julie Graham, who's a writer and a actress, she directs as well, she basically wrote something called Done Breeding, which was about five or six menopausal women all going through it at the same time. And it went on to YouTube every week for nine weeks, 15-minute episodes. Now, while we were filming this, I was like... Mm. It's a lot of chat about the menopause. <laughs> I'm definitely not there yet. <laughs> and I think I started to hear about all of the symptoms and realise, actually, I've got that. We don't all have them all. Mm. But I started realising that I had an awful lot in common with my character who was going through it. And then my friends would phone me up, um, Julie and Kate, and they would say, whatever you do, get the HRT. <laughs> Before you get the rage. Oh, sounds like, like they, they had the rage. dragons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the real dragons. Yeah. They, were, they already had it and they basically told me to get on top of it before it took over. So, yeah, so basically that's how I found out. But that's so interesting because it's not the stereotypical, oh, I got the hot flushes. So it's they not were just angry. physical. Like no, it's this, it's, which it's, you might put down to something else, of just course. being overwhelmed. And also, I thought at the time that this is possibly all about lockdown. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting wider because of lockdown. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely feeling more low. I'm getting very teary. It all could have been, you know, passed yeah, off yeah. as being part of the pandemic and being slightly depressed. A hundred percent. What I think now is that was the beginning of menopause and what, whether the script brought it on and or whether my knowledge mm. allowed me to realise what was going on. Either way, it, that was the start of it. Yeah. Well, but then you needed to find more information about it. Yes. Was it readily available? Was it difficult to find? Uh, it was. I mean, I felt like I was in the thick of it because we're ma making something about the menopause. So mm. I found that I could get information. But when you spoke to other people that weren't in the know, they mm. were, it was taboo. It mm. was a very taboo thing. Mm. I went to my GP. Then I found Menoactive, started taking that, which is like all supplement, basically a supplement of 31 active ingredients, started taking that, a little bit of HRT, started cold water swimming, started doing a lot more meditation, yoga, and chucked everything at it, at well. And to be honest, since then, touch wood, I feel like I've been on a, a much more of an even keel. My yeah. kids might say something else. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel that, like, thank God we're now talking about it openly? Yes. Because it just wasn't done in our mother's generation. No, so and also, just... I remember seeing something with Davina talking about mm. it, who's really open about it all. And Davina McCall said, I was advised to not talk about it too much work-wise because it ages you. That, you know, people didn't think it was very good for your career to discuss it. And years and years ago, people would say, oh, when that, you know, do you remember Betty down the road, when she got to that age, she went a bit funny. Yeah, the change, yeah. yeah. They wouldn't yeah. actually embrace the chat. Yeah. So I think what's happening now is everyone's feeling like they are free to talk about it. There isn't a stigma. There's lots more information. And, yeah, I suppose going into October, it feels like... For me, I think we should be all passing our knowledge on, yeah. what we've learned. OK, be because for previous generations, they didn't talk no. about it. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about my own mum. Yes, I'm thinking about my aunties. You can say the same thing. Did you notice it? What? Well, did you notice them going through it or do you think they no, did? I, I don't... I, I, I think they just pass it off. Like, men yeah. go through a midlife crisis, mm. women go through menopause. Just get on with it. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Do you remember your mother going so through So I asked my mum years ago, what happened when you went through your menopause? My mum said, I think I got hot one afternoon. Got a bit hot. So I was like, well, maybe, like, genetically, I'll be OK. Yeah. You know, I might skim through this. But I think, actually, this was about the fact that people didn't really yeah. talk about it. Mm. Mental health, menopause, all those taboo things that we actually avoid discussing, I think. Yeah. That now it feels like it's, so, it's just so much of a... We're in such a better place and f so much more free to discuss. 